Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video, and today I finally have my Tomomo thanks to the free SSR ticket. So that means I can finally do Chen Gong farming, <laughs> which is the maybe the most expensive form of farming in the game. Uh, after finally having him ready since basically the, his time of release, I couldn't do it effectively without Tomomo. And it was too much of a pain in the ass to find a support Tomomo. Um, and I think it's more consistent with two. I can finally do it. So that's going to be today's video. It's going to be Chen Gon farming. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite farming methods are. You don't do Chen Gong because to be fair, not a lot of people can do Chen Gong <laughs> because it's stupid expensive. I actually don't think I really need Scotty for this either. I, I think any unit that kind of gives... I have to look into replacing it. I think she actually the over the 50% is overkill, but um, and I don't want to use Waver because he's already at P10. So anyway, what is Chen Gong farming? So basically, Chen Gong, as you can see over here, he's a caster. He does big boy damage. He does her big hurdy damage thanks to this ability right here, which is a two prong formation. It is all usable only if there is an ally on the field who can be sacrificed. It deals significant damage to all enemies. Strength increases with the overcharge. Sacrifice one ally after the, other than yourself. Applying death ignores death immunity effects. So no matter what, someone gets sacrificed unless I think they have guts. I think guts is the only thing that can stop him. Um, how much damage does this thing do? Well, let me find, let me look up the exact thing because it's something crazy because they gave this man an extremely powerful NP. So at NP5, the damage that you do with this NP is 1,500%. So you deal with 15,000, not 15,000, 1,500% damage up. That's a lot of damage to do on someone. Uh, a lot of big hurdy damage. So he's very similar to Arash, um, who is the archer who kind of kills him, uh, takes himself out after... Uh, doing his NP, except for he does it to other people, which is very nice. So what you want to do with uh, Chen Gong is that you want to get him super beefy, super strong. You want to give him a little bit of MP gain to kind of help him out. And then basically he shoots off the casters at the enemy, and then you're able to finish farming that way. And he's a bronze character, and he's able to do it very effectively. And he's able to do it with a lot of hurt as well, because... He's just that crazy strong. So let's go in there and let's see how it kind of works on the basic thing. I've actually been using him in the most recent story because it works out in the recent story. So if you're wondering, hey, like, how does this work with stronger foes? I can tell you right now, um, it works pretty damn well. The only thing that really stops him is rider bosses. So at least in this variation of him. So let me see. Over here, I can just pick... Uh, I think I want to try and get a Tomomo friend. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass for now. It's going to be much easier to do it when Castoria comes out because I'm going to guarantee you right now a lot of casters are going to disappear and it's going to be just mainly Castoria. Uh, which will be fun, especially if they're under level, but we'll see that when it happens. So I'm going to be using this guy right here. Not a lot of people use him, but his ability right here, which I believe is called Philosopher's Stone, gives MP gain, which is very effective. He also gives a little bit of arts buff. This is giving 50%, which is from the Tama mode here. The only thing, the other thing that could be effective is that I need to actually do this, is uh, this Tama mode right here, mine. Even though it's level 10 on here, you actually don't get um, this MP damage up unless you do the quest related to it, and I haven't yet, so I won't do that, but it's fine. So next, we have him set up a little bit. He's got a little bit of that. He basically needs 60% NP, and then he's able to do whatever he wants. So let's see if he actually makes it on this. He should be able to, but there are occasionals where I think he's made it down to like 57% or so. 59%, exactly as much as I need. Perfect. So this is how the system kind of goes from here on out. From here on out, it literally doesn't matter because these guys are just cannon fodder. So give him a little bit of that. Nero Bright is going to give him some more NP gain, so any chance of him not reaching the NP gain that he needs is gone. He has his own 10% that gives it to the entire enemy, uh, not to the enemy team, to your team. And now, say goodbye to Bright Nero. She's here for a bit, but now she's being blasted off into space. Bye, girl. See you next time. You were a necessary sacrifice. 
Yeah, and also you can see the damage with this um, four, four, almost 500, uh, 500, uh, not 500 damage, 500,000 damage. A silly amount. You'll probably reach it with this one right here. Because I'll be able to do that. So yeah, that's why I'm saying that this is a little bit overkill. Because he doesn't need the 50% and he only needs 20%. So I'll probably look for units that give just 20% and you're good. Um, and yeah, goodbye to all the ones here. Bye-bye. Necessary sacrifice, leave the field. And yeah, that's kind of Chen Gong farming in a nutshell. It only gets more effective when you have, um... Uh, what's his nuts? Actually, I'm going to be curious to see, because there are some variations that I can probably change up a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can... The one character I'm just not sure of, of how effective they'll be, which I'll show right here. Um, it kind of probably requires to be a little bit of different placements and stuff like that in order for it to make the most sense. Filter it by casters. Okay, it's already filtered by that. Yes, here you go. I could probably put him in the final slot, but... We'll see how it goes for here. The thing I'm most uncertain about this, also obviously this kind of changes depending on if you have a max limit version of Kaleidoscope, which I do. Um, the thing that changes is that sometimes you just don't need that much power of stuff. So there's some NP gain. That gives them a little bit. There you go. That's the other thing I think I can do. The thing I would probably change is for this one, I should would probably start with two Tommy Bones on the field and make it so he's not the sacrificed one, so I don't have to use that tiny NP gain that I did right there. Uh, let me see. Go out here. No, I need to be able to kill the person up front, so go. Yes. There goes my Tommy Bone. You did your best. No one faults you for what's about to happen. If anything, you are contributing to a great... Necessity of science. Let's go. Stop. -o. So let's see. If he at least reeks at the 59%, uh, that's pretty good. But I wonder if he'll be able to make it. I'm going to say no. Yeah, he does significantly less. Uh, so yeah, this is the part where it's like if you're not able to actually fully get his NP stuff going gets a little bit tough to do things. Uh, I mean, this is basically over for me. But it's fine. Chen Gan should be able to finish it off himself, not that hard. Uh, I don't kill him. Okay, good. Yeah, it's an un unfortunate thing of three turning it. But this early on, he should still be able to completely wipe them out pretty easily because he still does an insane amount of damage for... The thing that kind of... The reason they gave him probably so much damage is that I think casters actually suffer from a tiny hit to attack and stuff like that. So they're not as strong as a lot of other classes. I think Assassin is actually built a little bit similar. Oh, 30%. Yeah, definitely I would probably use the other one. Unless I do some tinkering of how I would want to build him up and stuff like that. Um, right here. That should be able to completely take him out. Right? Let's see, huh? Should be. Right, well, if not, it's Tom Blow dying for no reason. I mean, Scotty is dying for no reason. No, I was able to kill him pretty easily. <laughs> 300,000 or so. Very, very interesting. Yeah, he would probably need something like the... Actually, no, that wouldn't work out either. Hmm. So yeah, for now, I'm going to be using Priscilla's. I would like to use him, but I probably need to think out a little bit more. You know what? I'd probably do something like... This will probably be the final test of the video. Just to experiment with some more stuff. Um... Thank you, Cold Hot Dog. You truly are helping me find a uh, Scotty friend when I need it. So I'm gonna go here. I think.
go here. Start there. I'll try with this one. There we go. The other thing that would also help is if I gave Chen Gong a little bit of grails, but I think he's fine as a bronze as for right now. I definitely could um, grail him up and he'd be much more effective at what he does or give him golden foes, but mm, don't really feel like it at the moment. Definitely could do something like that, though. Has to be the one in the back. So let me see. This one gives. No one's MP gain. This one is just increase MP gauge. Two different things. Okay. We also give him a little bit of attack too. Okay. We'll see how this one goes. For in order for this to be successful, I think he actually needs just 50% as opposed to 60%. I think. So we'll see if he gets it. Even 49%? Okay, 51%. That should be doable. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I should be able to get him the remainder with who's, with who's left. Oh, that gives 20%. So yeah, that's more than enough. If anything, I was overprepared. And then we'll go... Bam! Oh yeah, give that 20% to Nero Bride because she's gonna need it as she goes, rides the rocket straight into the atmosphere. BAM! How much damage does it end up doing? <laughs> Hello. Uh, a little bit more damage than I was expecting. Okay, 70% though. Hmm. Now here's the thing, I don't think he has enough to actually finish him off here. Yeah, I don't think he has enough now. Interesting. So, yeah, Parcellus first would actually be the way to go. So I think if I actually had done it the opposite way and I had put Parcellus over here uh, before um, Medicine Man, who I'm currently not remembering the name of, even though I like him a whole bunch. How come your name's not here? Anyway, uh, it's fine. May as well give him... Just a of stuff. I should have put... Um, the target focus up on him so that he would actually be able to get his enemy off. Because then they would all hit him. As opposed to them going to random places. Hmm. Let me do that for him. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter because he has it. But yeah, that's Chen Gung farming. I'm still gonna experiment with stuff. It's obviously gonna be much easier if you have Castoria, and obviously there's also all other variations, uh, depending on who you use. And obviously if I use the Waver, then a lot of my other things would be easier, but I don't want to use them. But I think this is the basic setup that I have now. I don't think I need Scotty for this. Scotty I can keep for the, um, for the win stuff, but for the most part, unless it's a super hard fight, I don't think I need the 50% NP. It's not super necessary. I need at least 20% and I should be good. I think that's the sweet spot that I found. Alright, they're gone. So yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Chen Gong, he's strong. Gong strong. Till next time, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a good night. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.